Hey YouTube, it's uh, Q&A Friday uh, on a Wednesday. <laughs> um, so I've got more questions here. We got some late breaking questions actually. Uh, up until about an hour ago, I only had one question to answer. Uh, but two more came in. So let's go ahead and get started. Mobin asks the first question. Um, does your job inform you about these things or is this just for fun? Uh, this is just for fun and uh, Everything, everything that I talk about, I get from the news. Basically, I either read it online or I read it in magazines, uh, things of that nature. So, um, <clears throat> I try to keep my job out of it, uh, and for the most part, I don't get information from my job. So, I do work in aerospace, um, but like I said, I try and keep to all the information. I try and regurgitate is public domain. You can go um, look for it yourself, and a lot of times the articles that I read, I link down in the comment section of uh, any particular episode. So, Okay, uh, Mobin also asks, could the information be dark matter? And this has to do with the, uh, is our universe spawned from a black hole episode? Could the information be dark matter? Um, so... <clears throat> I think what you're getting at is, um, so the whole I the whole idea of the episode is our universe spawned from a black hole. Um, that has to do with the fact that uh, possibly a four-dimensional um, black hole has an event horizon that is three-dimensional, that is our universe. The part about information is um, if matter gets sucked into the four-dimensional black hole, and um, uh, so currently what we think, if matter gets sucked into a three-dimensional black hole, which we know about, um, the idea that the information stays in the event horizon, uh, in the four-dimensional black hole version, that information, if it hits the event horizon, it would appear in our universe. Uh, Mobin, you're asking if that information could be the dark matter that we think we uh, experience but don't really know about. Uh, maybe. Uh, again, we don't know what dark matter is. We can't detect it. That's why we call it dark. Uh, the, the point I was trying to make, though, is that as more matter enters the four-dimensional black hole, more information would be popping up in our three-dimensional universe as the event horizon. And if that's the case, if it is the dark matter, then we would be accumulating dark matter. That dark matter would be adding gravitational force, uh, and we would see those effects, that increase in gravitational force, which we're not seeing. Um, so I don't think so, <laughs> to answer your question. Uh, but but it's interesting to think about it. it. Who knows? We don't know. We you know we we don't know what. A, we don't know what dark matter is. We can't test for it. We can't detect it. We only know about it because uh, we see galaxies spinning faster than we think they should be. Um, and we don't know if this idea that our universe is an event horizon for 4D black hole, we, don't, we, don't can't, we can't test for that either. So maybe, um, <clears throat> maybe, it, maybe it is. Maybe the information is dark matter. We don't know. We can't test for it. Yeah, but it's a good question. Okay, and then last question uh, from Rosie. Um, what is the earliest memory of something to do with space, science, etc., blowing my mind, uh, making me want to learn more? Um, that is a good question. Uh, the earliest memory that I have... Oh, and then, you know, as a follow-up question, Rosie asks... Uh, I could talk about how I got into all of this. So I would say the earliest memory I have of something sciencey is when the Challenger shuttle blew up. Um, I was in fourth grade. Fourth grade? Third or fourth grade. I forget which grade exactly. But I remember the school I was in. I remember the classroom I was in. Um, and we had heard the news and uh, they brought in a TV in, into our classroom. And so we started watching news coverage. Um, I had always been fascinated with the space shuttle before that, and then having the Challenger blow up sort of embedded that into my head. Um, I, I think that's the reason why I got a degree in aerospace engineering. Um, 
and whether it stems from that, it's hard to say. It, it definitely, you know, it definitely piqued my interest in space, in the sciences. Um, and ever since then, I, you know, I've been accumulating things through biology classes and chemistry classes, and there are just a lot of fascinating things going on around us. Um, even to the point of, you know, physics and astronomy, things that, you know, we have theories about that we can't really test, even those are just, they're so fascinating to me. Uh, so on the one hand, we have a lot of science and theories that are just fun to investigate. On the other hand, we have a lot of technology that sort of advances um, what we're trying to do, whether it's space or these gadgets that we have or um, anything of that nature. So on the two sides, uh, yeah, I, I guess, you know, the Challenger exploding, I guess that is, <clears throat> that may be the source of, of all of this. Um, yeah, good question. Uh, I hadn't really thought of it in that way. Um, but maybe that is the source. I can't, I don't know that there's an earlier, an earlier memory. Yeah, good one. Thank you for that question. Um, okay, that's it for today. Uh, let me let me close this out and post it and get it uploaded. Uh, send me more questions. Uh, I think this is a lot of fun. And we'll see you next time.